Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Cosorex BHA Black Cat Power Liquid, which contains two derivatives of salicylic acid, which refers to BHA and it includes niacinamide. And this combination can help you to gently exfoliate the skin to unclog your pores and regulate your oiliness, which then can help you to minimize the appearance of enlarged pores. And at the same time, it has moisturizing, brightening and anti-inflammatory properties. And so when working with this essence, before you're going to apply it all over your face and neck, especially when being new to it, I highly recommend doing a patch test on your upper forearm to see if any sensitivity occurs. And so the way on how you're going to do a patch test is make sure that your upper forearm is clean and dry, then use a very small amount of Cosorex BHA essence, place it on your upper forearm and then leave it on the skin for 24 hours and have like check out your upper forearm to see if any any sensitivity occurs while doing the patch test. And so if sensitivity occurs, please stop using the product. If nothing happens, then this is when you're going to include it in your skincare routine and then apply it to the skin. If you want to see a more in-depth tutorial on how you can do a patch test, I have a specific video for you in the top right corner. You just need to exchange the product, but the steps will remain the same. And so once you're done with your patch test, this is now where you can get started and use it in your skincare routine. Now there's one more important point that I do want to emphasize, and this is the frequency. So if you're being new to it, I recommend starting off slowly and increase the frequency over time if you should feel the need. And please do not forget to always adjust the frequency accordingly to your skin needs. And so I will explain it in just a moment. So it is recommended to start off by using it two to three times per week once per day so for example monday wednesday and friday um, in the morning or evening and then do this frequency for about two to three weeks to see how uh, it's going to react to your skin and then if everything went well and you feel the need of using it more often throughout the week then of course you can slowly increase the frequency then start off by using it every other day if that's fine you want to increase it a bit more then use it daily and then you may want to just stick to using it daily once per day or you may be able to use it twice per day as well. Of course, this frequency is individual for everyone. So if you're starting off slowly and you're going to increase it in stages, you will see and figure out what frequency will work the best for you. However, over time when using this product for let's say about six months, then you may come across a point where your current frequency may not work that well anymore and then you need to adjust it again. So just because in the beginning you figured out a frequency that works well for you doesn't mean that you're always going to stick to it, which depends on your skin needs. So always adjust your skincare routine accordingly to your skin needs because skincare products should help you to improve your skin, not to make it worse. And so when working with this essence, frequency is key. Start off slowly and increase it over time if you should feel the need. And then you also will understand that you can use this exfoliating essence in the morning and or evening depending on your needs and what works well for you. And this is now where I want to go over some example skincare routines so that you can see the order of application and how you can adjust it depending on the products that you have at home. And then I want to go over the application to show you on my face how you can properly use it. And so I want to get started with a very simple straightforward skincare routine. So if you're planning on using Cosorex BHA Blackhead Power Liquid in your morning skincare routine, you're going to get started with washing your face using a suitable cleanser for your skin type and needs. Since this still acts like an exfoliating essence, I recommend using a gentle cleanser that does not contain exfoliating essence to make sure that you have a nice balance in your skincare routine and make sure that your cleanser is suitable for your skin type and needs, that it does not irritate your skin nor dries out your skin in any way. Way. Then once you have washed your face with your gentle cleanser, then you can immediately move on to Cosorex BHA Blackhead Power Liquid and then I recommend following with sun protection, either a moisturizer that already contains SPF or with a regular sunscreen that's working well for your skin type and needs, that so it feels comfortable on the skin, that it does not irritate your skin, your eyes in any way, but still can help you to protect the skin, uh, not only from premature aging but from sun damaged skin as well. And so this would be a great example of a straight morning, like straightforward morning skincare routine. And then if you're planning on using it in the evening and or in the evening, 
then it's going to be very similar just without your sun protection. So you're going to get started with washing your face with a gentle cleanser. You may want to do a double cleanse uh, depending on how stubborn your sunscreen and your makeup may be that you have worn throughout the day to make sure that everything comes off. And then after that you're moving on to your BHA and then if you should feel the need you can follow with a moisturizer that's working well for your skin type and needs. Now using a moisturizer isn't necessarily needed if you have for example combination to oily skin since this essence does have moisturizing benefits as well so if you feel like it's moisturizing enough then you do not really need to use a moisturizer at all. However if you have a drier skin type of course you can adjust it and then follow with a moisturizer tries out for your needs and then this would be an example of an evening skincare routine and then I want to go over a bit more of an advanced skincare routine and some combinations that you have to be aware of when working with this essence and so if you're planning on using this essence in your skincare routine and you may use other serums as well then if you're planning on using it in the morning it would look like this again start off by using a gentle cleanser for your skin type and needs then you're going to move on to your exfoliating acids like Cosrx BHA and then you're going to follow with your um, acid essence like this could be an hydrating essence and or other serums um, which you may have at home and then sun protection during daytime and then for the evening again the order of application will look very similar just without your sun protection again start off by using a gentle cleanser may want to do a double cleanse then move on to your BHA your essence and or serum and then moisturizer if needed and then there you have it so this would be the order of application if you want to include an additional serum or treatment in that same skincare routine. But I do want to quickly make you aware of that since it is an exfoliating essence, you have to be aware of certain combinations such as, for example, strong retinol products. So if you are using a retinol that contains more than 0.3% of retinol in it, then please do not use them in the same routine, especially when being new to it, um, to make sure that it's not going to dry out your skin like dramatically because um, BHA, niacinamide, and at the same time retinol can make the skin drier which you may enjoy if you have oilier skin but especially if you have a drier skin type I recommend be being really careful with it and at the same time to reduce irritation or sensitivity. So if you are working with a retinol and Cosrx BHA, either use like your BHA in the morning, your retinol in the evening, or alternate between them. Use one on Monday, the other one on Tuesday, the other one on Wednesday, so that you have a nice balance going on to reduce the uh, like likelihood of experiencing dryness and irritation, to have a nice balance. And the same would apply with strong vitamin C products, like more than 15% of ascorbic acid, which is the pure form of vitamin C products. Um, I recommend being careful with this combination as well. Like retinol and BHA and, and BHA and vitamin C do not conflict with each other. They technically can be used in the same routine, but it's more so the actual combination, which either may lead to extreme dryness or it may lead to irritation because the combination of those two uh, is going to like be too strong for your skin to handle. So therefore, again, I recommend being careful with it. Um, if it's working well for you, go ahead and like keep on using this routine. However, if you're being new to it, I recommend being careful and keeping them separate instead. And one last point that I do want to emphasize, and this is also the ordinary peptides. If you should have an ordinary peptide serum at home, it is advised by the ordinary to not use it in the same routine with exfoliating acids. So I do want to make you aware of, please use the ordinary peptides in a different routine when not using your Cosrx BHA to make sure that there is no, no conflict going on. And so there you have example routines as well as what you have to be aware of when setting up your skincare routine at home to make sure that it's working well for you when trying it and using it. And so this is basically now what I wanted to share with you as a general guide and I now want to move on to the actual application so that you can see it step by step as well. And I'm going to um, like stick to the very simple skincare routine, so cleanser, using the BHA essence and then follow with either moisturizer or sun protection depending on the time of use. 
And so I'm going to get started with the first step, which is washing your face. This won't change, doesn't matter if you're doing this in the morning and or evening, it's always your first step. And I'm going to use Cetaphil's Daily Facial Cleanser, which is great for combination to oily sensitive skin. Of course, this is just an example. If you're using a different cleanser suitable for your skin type, make sure that it's a gentle cleanser, that's all what counts. And please make sure to read on the back of the packaging on how you should properly use your cleanser. Do you have to apply it on wet skin or on dry skin and then follow that specific guide to make sure that you can properly wash your face and in the evening you may want to do a double cleanse. And so with Cetaphil's Daily Facial Cleanser I have to apply it on wet skin. So this is now the first step that I'm going to do. I'm going to wet my face and neck and hands with lukewarm water to warm water and then I'm using a bit of the cleanser and I'm going to apply it onto wet skin. So let's go ahead and do this. Then use about one to two pumps, so about a coin size amount of your cleanser in the palm of your hand. Then massage it between your hands and then massage it onto your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute. Please make sure that you're going to read on your cleanser if you can use it around the eyes or if you should avoid the eye area before massaging it all over. So, and once you have massaged your cleanser all over your face and neck, you now can go ahead and again rinse it off with lukewarm water to warm water. In case you should have troubles to remove it properly from the skin, I recommend using a fresh and soft washcloth in between, which can help you to remove the cleanser a bit better so that there's no residue left. So now go ahead and take a fresh towel and pat the skin dry. So and now once you are done with washing your face, you have pat the skin dry, you can immediately move on to the next step, which is applying Cosrx BHA. And so since this one has a pump, you can either use a few pumps in the palm of your hand or you can apply it with a cotton pad. My advice would be using your palm of your hand because then you don't need to use too much product and it applies easily with your hands as well. However, if you prefer to use a cotton pad instead, then you need to use a bit more as if you would use it in the palm of your hand. And so as a general guide, if you're using it in the palm of your hand, use about one to two pumps. I would recommend starting off by using one pump to see how far you can blend it because it blends easily all over. And then if you still should feel the need, you can add another pump to to it. If you're doing this with your cotton pad, you probably need to use about four to six pumps to make sure that the cotton pad is slightly damp so that you then can swipe it over your face and neck. Now when applying this solution to your face, then please make sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. If that should be the case, rinse it with water. And please avoid the eye area and do not get it too close to the actual mouth. So this is how it is advised to use. So when applying it to your face, be careful around your eyes and mouth. And then if you like to, you can blend it down towards your neck as well. And so I'm going to use it in the palm of my hand. And so it is fairly like liquidish and you do not need a lot of product. I used about one and a half pumps in the palm of my hand. Then I like to use them between my hands and then I'm going to evenly apply it all over my face and neck. So and once you have applied it all over, then you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. Now if this is going to be your evening skincare routine and depending on your skin type, you just can already leave it as it is and your essence is basically your last step. You just wash your face, then use the essence and then there you have it and you can go to bed. However, depending on your skin type and needs, of course you can follow with a moisturizer afterwards. And so I have one example right here, of course if you have a different one at home, go ahead and use 
use your favorite moisturizer and then use about like one to two pumps or about a coin size amount more or less depending on your skin type so that you can evenly apply it over your face and neck on your fingertips use it between your fingertips and then apply it all over so this is how you would then finish off as your evening skincare routine when following with a moisturizer you're going to layer your moisturizer on top of Cosarex BHA blackhead power liquid so this is what I mean by leaving it on the skin there's no need to wash it off if you're applying it in the evening you're going to leave it on the skin for the entire night and when washing your face the next morning this is when you're going to remove it and the same with a apply during daytime you're going to leave it on the skin and so in the evening your essence and or moisturizer is going to be your last step however during daytime it is recommended to follow with some protection and again this can either be by using a moisturizer that already contains SPF or regular sunscreen make sure that it's working well for your skin type that it feels comfortable on the skin and that it does not irritate your eyes or your skin in any way this is really important and so I'm going to use an SS Whitening UV Sunscreen Gel. This is just one example. It is a whitening gel because it contains tranexamic acid. So if you're suffering from blemishes, you have dark spots, you are trying to even out your skin tone, not only can the BHA Blackhead Power Liquid help you with it due to niacinamide, but if you're working with a whitening sunscreen, for example, as well, this can help you to even out your skin tone at the same time. So it's like two in one. But of course, make sure that you're using a sunscreen or moisturizer with SPF that's working well for you. Apply your sunscreen or moisturizer with SPF 10 to 15 minutes before sun exposure. And please make sure to evenly apply it all over your face and neck. And please do not forget the reapplication throughout the day, especially if you went for a swim, if you had outdoor activities, or uh, if you were, were in the sun for several hours where the sunscreen can break down, wear off, or move around. Then the reapplication is really important to make sure that you properly have the sunscreen all over to protect the skin. And so my best advice would be as a general guide to use a teaspoon as your measurement tool, especially if you're being new to um, sunscreen or like sun protection in general, because you need to use a fair amount. And if you're being new to it, you may not really understand what is meant with a fair amount because they do not really give you a guide at all. And so therefore with the teaspoon guide, using about half a teaspoon for your face and neck and about one teaspoon for your face, neck and decolletage is like a general guide that I can share with you. Of course, it is adjustable so that you have a general guide in mind. So use about that much for your face and neck and then use it in the palm of your hand. Of course, once you know how much this is going to be, like a, about the amount, then of course you can just like stop using the teaspoon as your measurement guide and just squeeze it in the palm of your hand. And then use it between your fingers and then evenly apply it all over your face, neck and maybe decolletage. So, and once you have applied your sunscreen all over your face, neck, and maybe decolletage, then this is going to be the last step in your morning skincare routine. Now, this is what I wanted to share with you. If you find this video helpful, if you find the example skincare routines helpful, I do want to make you aware of, you can download them in the description box down below and use them as a guide. If you want to follow one of the routines, then go ahead and do so. But this is what I mainly wanted to share with you on how you can use Cosorex BHA Blackhead Power Liquid I do hope that you find it helpful, that you enjoyed the video and if you did so, please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it and thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye!